the 18th century, Dutch and English merchants first settled in Union City, formerly known as Union Hill, New Jersey. German immigrants started to arrive in the United States in the late 1840s and 1850s as refugees from the unsuccessful revolutions of 1848. The leaders of the revolution who fled were men of culture and distinction who became the leaders of Union City's population. The bulk of the German immigrants became factory owners and workers, jewelry makers and brewery owners and workers. In 1851, Germans left New York City and came to Union City in search of affordable land and space, and it became a giant as a manufacturing city. Of note, the Union City town records are written in high German. From the mid-19th century to the early 20th century, German Americans and Dutch dominated the area. My story begins. The Daniel Burmes Boulevard Brewery, located now at 45th Street and Park Avenue, provided an immense contribution to business advancement, not only to Union City, but to all of Hudson County. This is the site of the old Dairy Queen across the street from North Hudson Hospital. My great uncles owned and operated the brewery, as well as my great grandfather. At the time, it was healthier to drink beer rather than water, since the water was so toxic what piqued my curiosity about the brewery was when my father, Everett Sherman, took me on a visit one day to the Bergen Crest Mausoleum in North Bergen, New Jersey on Kennedy Boulevard. As a little girl, he wanted me to see the family's burial site and told me that our ancestors were quite wealthy and distinguished. He pointed out the largest crypt in the mausoleum belonging to Burmus Sauer. When you first come in the main door, there are about 20 bodies in that crypt, all belonging to the Burmes and Sauer families. To the left is my other great uncle's crypt, the Frederick Schimper Crypt. As a little girl, it was a very impressionable visit, going into the large bronze doors and into the tombs. From that point on, the seed was planted and I wanted to know more about them. As an adult, my story begins. The proprietor, Daniel Burmes, was born in 1824 in Hesse, Darmstadt, Germany, which is in the center of Germany. His father, Charles Burmes, was one of the wealthiest brewers in Germany. He was the mayor of Beckenheim, Hesse, Darmstadt for 21 years. Daniel Burmes arrived in the United States at the age of 24, where he worked for three years in various breweries, especially the Kirschhoff Brewery in the Bloomingdale District of New York. He married his wife, Dorothea Burmes, in Hoboken, and they had four children. In 1851, Burmes began business for himself in a very small building opposite the very large establishment later built. The small brewery put out a daily capacity of seven barrels of beer per day. In 1862, beer was taxed to generate money for the Civil War. After the Civil War, breweries quickly adopted mechanical technology. Steam engines became the necessary power sources to heat brew kettles, mix and cool wort, clean barrels, and aid in pumping and hoisting. Pasteurization, discovered by Louis Pasteur in 1876, through his study of beer fermentation and spoilage, made long-term storage possible. Shelf life was also prolonged with the use of artificial ice. 21 years later, in 1872, the brewery expanded to include the brewery, a malt house, storehouses, a boiler house, an office and ice houses, along with a few other buildings. The brewery was housed with the best and most modern machinery and appliances in the business. In each department, skilled brewers were in charge. The best materials went into the beer production. The brewery building was a model of architectural art, built of terracotta brick and finished in stone effects. In the tower of the building was a large Seth Thomas clock, the dial being four feet in diameter and was illuminated at night, the only one of its kind in North Hudson. The artesian well house was another, if not the most important feature of the establishment. The well was bored at a large expense in 1887 and had a maximum output of 120 gallons per minute. The depth of the well was 900 feet. Water quality is most important for beer brewing. At the time, beer was safer to drink than water. The water quality in New York City was very poor, 
so the beer was imported from Union City. The Burmese Lager beer won the highest award, a gold medal for superiority and general excellence as a pure and healthy beverage. The beer was well known and in great demand in New York, New Jersey, and the surrounding areas. There were also bottling companies located at 211 Franklin Street, Union City, and 177 to 179 New York Avenue, Union City. In 1893, the brewery expanded for the third time and took up an entire city block, or 24 city lots. The brewery building was seven and a half stories high, fireproof, and constructed of brick, stone, and iron. The ice house was quite modern with two 50 and one 74 ton ice machines. My great uncle, Frederick Schimper, born in Zweibrücken, Germany, joined Mr. Burmis in 1866 in the operation of the brewery after being educated in the finest schools and breweries in Germany, France, Luxembourg, and the United States. In that same year, Mr. Schimper married Amelia Burmis, Mr. Burmis' daughter. Daniel Burmis died in 1868 at the age of 74 after a very long illness. His company then became incorporated as a stock company and Mr. Schimper became president. His products gained a wide reputation for excellence. Mr. Schimper lived on Fulton Street and Columbia Streets, always alongside Mr. and Mrs. Burmis. He was a member of numerous social groups for men. The Leader Tafel and Eintracht Singing Societies, the Schutzens, the Turnverein of Union Hill, and the Leader Kranz of New York City. Dorothea Burmis worked jointly with Mr. Schimper in the operation of the brewery. She became sole proprietor in 1893 and ran the business along with supervising hundreds of men, a feat unheard of for a woman at the time. She became one of the richest women in New Jersey and increased the business from $2 million to $4 million during her management. After the death of Mr. Burmis, Mrs. Burmis remained the sole proprietor until May 1899 when the brewery was incorporated with the following officers. Frederick Schimper was president, Babetha Burmis was Vice President, Dorothea Burmis Treasurer, and George Sauer Secretary and Manager. She died December 8, 1903. Daniel W. Burmis, son of the late Daniel Burmis, was the President of the First National Bank in Union City, New Jersey. Mr. and Mrs. Schimper donated much of their fortune to charity. These foundations funded monies for people who did good things. As of 2012, Susan Sherman was taken on a guided tour of the last remaining Burmis Boulevard Brewery building on 45th Street and Park Avenue, Union City. It is now a graphic design studio and a law firm. The original building has been renovated except for the front doorway and a large original safe. The four-foot clock is gone, but the pedestal remains in the tower. The attic remains the same. Woo! <laughs>